Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition is a medieval open-world role-playing game. In the game, you will fight to survive and achieve justice in 15th century Bohemia. The game presents a realistic world with historical accuracy and attention to detail. If you are a gamer who loves the medieval atmosphere, you may consider trying this game on your Switch console. Princess Peach Showtime is an action-adventure platform game reminiscent of a stage production, distinguished by its breathtaking visuals. Princess Peach, the beloved character of the Super Mario series, embarks on a fun-filled adventure by wandering among various games and stage decorations. Throughout the game, Peach takes on many different roles, including detective, sword fighter, cowgirl, patissier, and kung fu warrior. Although its Metacritic score is lower than expected, what makes Princess Peach Showtime truly special is its unique gameplay. Another Crab's Treasure is a Souls-like adventure set in a crumbling underwater world. As Krill the Hermit Crab, you'll need to wear the trash around you as shells to withstand attacks from enemies many times your size. Embark on an epic treasure hunt to buy back your repossessed shell and discover the dark secrets behind the polluted ocean. The game is designed to be an approachable experience for new Souls-like players, while also offering a challenge for hardcore fans. Help options are offered for those looking for a less frustrating experience, while those looking for a challenging game will find the default game challenging. Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes invites players to rediscover the magic of classic JRPGs with a modern twist. Lead a cast of 100 plus playable characters through a war-torn world in a tale woven across diverse cultures and alliances. As the Galdian Empire seeks to expand its power using rune lens technology, follow the journey of Sein Kesling, a gifted Imperial officer, and Nawa, a boy from a remote village as their paths intertwine in a quest for an artifact that could shape. Little Nightmares 3 takes us on a new adventure in the unique world of the Little Nightmares series. In the play, the characters named Low and Alone are looking for a way out of the place called Nothing, trapped in a disturbing realm called the Spiral. These two friends must work together to survive a dangerous world full of illusions and escape the clutches of a greater threat that lurks in the shadows. For the first time in this series, you also have the support of a friend or an artificial intelligence assistant thanks to online co-op play as you face your childhood fears. Hollow Knight Silksong is a video game developed by Team Cherry and is a sequel to its sequel, Hollow Knight. The main character of the game is a character named Hornet, whom we know from the first game. Hornet appeared as a side character in the first game and became quite popular. Hollow Knight Silksong takes players to a new world they've never seen before, Farloom. Hornet will try to progress by using her abilities and weapons while fighting the new enemies she will encounter in this new environment. Game mechanics will offer players a variety of experiences by combining exploration, combat, and puzzle-solving elements. <laughs> the original Paper Mario Thousand Year Door was released for the Nintendo GameCube in 2004 and is still remembered by many as one of the best Mario RPG experiences ever created. This updated Nintendo Switch version stays true to the original game with improved graphics and better environment design. 
The game includes new characters as well as classic Mario characters and offers players a wide world. It is a new and legendary game that you can play on Nintendo Switch with its original style, creative enemies, and unique world designs. Metroid Prime 4 returns to the first-person adventure roots of the original Metroid Prime game and introduces a new storyline that ties together the events of the Metroid Prime universe and takes things in a new direction. Metroid Prime 4, developed by Retro Studios and published by Nintendo for Nintendo Switch, was first announced at the E3 2017 event and was initially developed by Bandai Namco Studios. However, in January 2019, development was restarted by Retro Studios. Retro Studios returns as the developer of previous Metroid Prime games. Kensuke Tanabe, who worked on the first Prime games, served as the producer of the game. Biomutant is an open-world, post-apocalyptic kung fu epic RPG. This game offers the opportunity to combine melee, shooting, and mutant abilities with its unique combat system. Change your appearance and playstyle by recoding your genetic makeup. For example, play around with mutations like mantis legs or spiny tails. Explore a vibrant open world on foot, via shuttle, jet ski, weather balloon, or region-specific vehicle. Mix parts to create your own unique cutting, crushing, and piercing melee weapons, pistols, rifles, and more. Your actions and choices will determine the ending of your survival story as a storyteller narrates each step of your journey. Regarded as one of many critically acclaimed Xbox exclusives, Grounded is heading to the Nintendo Switch on April. Developed by Obsidian Entertainment, Grounded is a survival video game where you play as a kid shrunk to the size of insects in the backyard of your house and you have your friends for company. Other than surviving creepy insects and other giant animals in several biomes of the backyard, the objective is to collect every morsel of food and water droplet while building shelters with available materials. Fantasy Life was a modest success on the three deciseconds, and Level 5 is reviving the series with a new entry. You'll once again choose a profession and learn new skills as you build both a city and your friendships with townsfolk, but this time you'll also be traveling between the past and present to unlock the mysteries of a cursed island. It looks cute as all heck, and may be a great choice for curling up with a cup of tea and a warm blanket. The classic run-and-gun arcade shooter Contra has been reimagined as a 2-5D action spectacle. Way Forward is behind Operation Galuga, and given its track record of nicely polished remakes and homages, that alone is enough to make us take notice. This remake appears to borrow lots of tried-and-true elements from the original Contra, while adding new features like unique abilities for various characters and reimagined boss battles. It's also likely to be tough as nails, so maybe keep the Konami code fresh in your memory, just in case. The Endless Ocean franchise is back from the dead and will be hitting the Nintendo Switch exclusively on May. The previous installments, which were released on the Wii, were known to offer a chill vibe in an undersea world full of marine life. With Endless Ocean Luminous, players will get to explore the depths of the Veiled Sea and discover both existing as well as extinct creatures. Every time the player dives in, the Veiled Sea will change, which will encourage exploration repeatedly. The multiplayer mode will allow up to 30 players to dive in together and share their discoveries. <laughs> 